Hey guys, I'm Mike Burns for Severn Windsurfing North America and I'm here with some harness lines and this is the first time I've got to use some Severn harness lines and as usual they tweak them a bit and they are a little nicer so um, you know if you see them in the shop you might want to think about picking these up because then they match the Severn sales pretty nice too they color code them and stuff so um, I personally have been using the 28 inch lines I know a lot of freestyle guys are using 30 and 32 but you know I'm just using these um, what makes them different? Well, the harness lines I was using on my Severn Enigma carbon booms swung a lot. So when I was doing tricks or just jibing, a lot of times the harness line would swing, you get catched in on, like you're making this perfect jibe, let the sail go and the harness line goes up, down, catches your hook and takes you in the water when you go to flip the sail. These actually have, um, it's like a thicker top section here that where it hooks on. And they're designed more for like the narrow grip booms. Like they're really, um, you know, a couple brands make those really narrow grip. Uh, Severn's one of them. And if you use the old sort of harness lines that were made for the bigger grip, that's why you get that extra swing. These are made specific for the narrow grip booms. They'll work on a, you know, a regular grip boom too, but um, it's nice just to not to have that extra spring. There's extra material here to keep it straight. On the inside, and it's really hard to see, but on the inside in there, um, there's actually like a little extra padding on there to stop like a rubber padding to stop the the movement on the boom itself so it helps keep it in place so when you kind of push it in to keep the line in there it stays where it's put there's noticeably less swing with the with the lines and that's really why i like them um, the tube on the outside is clear so you can see i mean i'm sure they're going to last a long time but you can see the the lines themselves on the inside so you can see when it's going to wear um, some of the other brands have a colored tube on the outside and um, you know you can't you can't see your lines. You're out on the water, and all of a sudden the line breaks, and the rubber tubing sure isn't going to be enough to hold the sail. So you're going in the water. Um, just the the numbers on the the harness lines. Like I said before, I use the 28 inch ones. They're actually they're internal under a rubber seal, so they're not going to wear off. So you have you had somebody like um, you know, your wife or your kids and you have harness lines kind of scattered around and you're, you're changing them out sometimes, um, you're gonna be able to see these numbers for a long time. So like me and Chrissy, Chrissy uses 24s, I use 28s and sometimes I'll get you know some used harness lines out of the, you know, in the trailer and the tags ripped off or the numbers wore out and I'm like trying to hold one up to the other one and figure out what length is what before I put it on the boom. So um, I mean, it's a harness line. It doesn't seem like much until you actually use it and then you're like, man, I should have had these all these years. So um, that's the Severn Harness Line. Hope to see you on the water in Hatteras and have a good one, guys. Happy sailing. <laughs>